Hey guys, it's Nick, and before I start here, I'm just going to say, I'm really bad at talking in front of a camera or a microphone, and I can already tell I'm going to mess up a lot. But anyway, hey again, it's me, and I am here with one of my coding projects. Um, I made a, well, a random map generator that completely automates the map making process in Warlight. And I'll show you how it works. Um, basically, what happens is that it'll randomly generate the map, and then it'll give you an SVG file of it, which you can then upload to Warlight. And then from there, you copy the map ID. And then in the same program, you paste the map ID here, and then you can send commands to the Warlight server that will um, finish making the map for you. Like, um, for example, put in territory connections and name them all and all that stuff. But anyway, I'll show you how it works right now. So first of all, I gotta log in. You gotta log into your Warlight account, um, which is the one that you'll be uploading your map with. And then there's all these fields you can edit. So I'm, first of all, I'm gonna select the path where I want to save it. I already have a folder I made for it. And then you can then set the width and height of the map. 2,000 by 2,000 pixels is a pretty good number for what, what this uh, program can handle. And then uh, you can set the color for bonuses and water connections. And then uh, for bonuses, each color will be slightly randomized. So two bonuses that border each other won't have the exact same color, just so you can tell them apart. So if you keep it this gray, then the color will be completely random. But if you choose another color, um, the colors will lean slightly toward that color. So if I chose green, um, each bonus color would be slightly greenish. And then for water connections, um, they just all be that same color. But uh, I already have three maps I made that, that are green, and I'll show you those later. So I guess I'll pick a different color just to just show. So I guess I'll pick orange. And they can be different colors, by the way. I guess for water connections, I guess I'll leave them, put them blue, just because that makes sense. You can also reset the colors to put them back to their defaults, but I'll keep it, I'll keep it unique. You can also set the minimum and maximum territories per bonus. I, I like the three to six, just because it seems pretty reasonable, but um, bonuses could have fewer than the minimum, just because, for example, if um, there's an island that generated that had seven territories in it, and it tried to put six of them in the same bonus, that would leave one left over, and that one territory would just be in its own bonus. So in that case, um, you could have fewer than the minimum, but it's pretty rare. And then um, you can also set the value of armies per bonus based on the number of territories. So you could have the same number, like a one-to-one -one ratio basically, or you could have one fewer than um, the number of territories, or two fewer, or half rounded up or down. Um, I prefer to keep one fewer bon or one fewer army um, per bonus, just because that's what I normally use in all my maps. And you can also force it to have at least one army. So in that one territory bonus, it would still be worth one, even though it was supposed to be worth zero. So the next you want to do is just save that. So I save that into that uh, under that folder. And um, by the way, all the names that are generated are completely, or yeah, all the names are just randomly generated, and they're not regulated. Although, I think one of the next steps, if I continue to work on this project, is to, uh, to put some kind of filter on the names, just in case. You never know. But anyway, the next step you want to go uh, is just, just go to Warlight and upload your map. So as you can see, the map is all here, 
and uh, now what you want to do is go to the link for sharing and copy this ID right here and then go back to the program paste it in this little box and send commands and then if it's successful it'll tell you to view your map at that at that same link so then uh, you could either restart this and create a new map or just close it I mean this is the only one I'm gonna do for this tutorial so I'm gonna copy this also refresh this page just so it loads here too so um, if you look closer all the territories are named they're all in their specific bonuses and all the connections are there making connections was a pain to program because you need to make sure that every island can uh, could connect to every island at some point and that was just a lot of recursion and that's not it's not a walk in a park for coding but anyway now that it's over I don't have to worry about that anymore but yeah this map is all done and I also took the liberty to um, have it create distributions for you as well so the capitals distribution is just um, each territory that has the bonus link in it the mainland distribution is just the island that has the most land and then the islands which is pretty cool it was also a little bit of work to do but um, it just puts each it creates a scenario distribution and puts each island in its own scenario which is good for team games and stuff so yeah um, Oh, here's the other maps that I've randomly generated. As I said before, I really like the color green, so I created three maps using green. And they're all they're all completely random too. You won't see two maps that are the same. And then here's one that just used random colors and then yellow water connections. So, um it's pretty neat, and I'm still deciding whether I want to upload this to the public or not because if I did that would mean people could just spam maps and I'm not sure if I want that and I'm not sure if um, Fizzer wants that either but another option I was thinking about was contacting Fizzer to try to see if this could be implemented as part of the game and for example um, two players could join a random game or like a random map game and the map would be generated like there'd be no map when the game was created, but when the game actually starts, the map is generated right there and then, so so you have no idea what map you'd play on until the start of the game. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you thought it was pretty neat, and I'll see you on Warlight.